bring a note. All right, Mayor, the meeting is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm sorry to welcome you to the Vinton Town Council meeting uh, for this Tuesday evening, June 6th. And with that, we will start with uh, the roll call, please. Councilmember Lyles? Here. Councilmember McCarty? Here. Councilmember Mullins? Here. Vice Mayor Stovall? Here. Mayor Gross? Here. Thank you, folks. Um, in a, m a moment, I will ask you to uh, stand for a moment of silence. We use that here in the town of Benton so that everyone can pray or meditate as they see fit. If you choose to pray, I hope you will. I certainly plan to pray. Uh, I hope you'll keep this country and this community and certainly this council meeting in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, while we're standing, we'll have the uh, Pledge of Allegiance um, to the flag. And uh, Councilman Lyles, who's going to do that this evening? We have uh, the honor of having Noah Eves here tonight. All right. And uh, he and Chris McCarty is going to lead us in the place tonight. That sounds great. That sounds great. So, folks, if you'll stand for those two items, please. Let's face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic of the states, under God, indivisible, to the justice of Okay, thank you, Noah. Good job, Noah. Absolutely. Way to go, buddy. All right, I just uh, has listed here review of citizen guidelines. That's the uh, guidelines uh, for conduct that we use. And, of course, those are available at the door along with the agenda. Which moves us to community events and announcements. Uh, Council Member McCarty. Yes. Um, the Community Senior Center programs are back on Thursdays. There's Tai Chi at 9.15 to 10 a.m. And then 10.15 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Um, there's cards. The Farmer's Market is open Saturdays 9 to 1. Please come visit all of the vendors. June the 10th, the Chamber presents the Mingo at the Market from 7 to 10 with Vinyl Nation. Uh, the 24th, Mingo at the Market is meant fences and each night it's a five dollar cover charge there are food trucks there in a beverage garden and on July the 4th the boys and girls present the four on the four race start line at the event war memorial at 8 a.m. and for more information you can um, visit www.runsignup.com and then of course uh, the town will be celebrating July the 4th it starts at 6 30 p.m. with a ceremony starting at, uh, at 7 in the front yard at the Benton War Memorial come listen to DJ Flex for purchase tons of food trucks and blow-ups and fireworks will be at 9 30. I think that's all. all Thank right. you Cassie. Thank you. Lots going on in Vincent, as always. So, uh, Council Member Mullins, I think you have a list of some council activities, right? Yes, sir. Um, going back to May 17th, which sounds like a long time ago, but it was just a minute ago. Um, council Members Mullins and McCarty attended the Lions Club bus shelter dedication ribbon cutting at the Kroger parking lot, Lake Drive Plaza. On May 20th, um, Council Members, oh, I'm sorry. Vice Mayor Stovall was at Vinton Palooza. Um, on May 23rd, Council Member Lyles attended the Planning Commission meeting. On May 25th, Vice Mayor Stovall attended the DAR Recycled Bench Dedication at BFG. And June the 1st, uh, Mayor Gross attended the Roanoke Regional Partnership Board meeting. I did. Thank you very much. Sure. Appreciate that. Uh, with that, we'll move on to any request to uh, postpone or change anything on the agenda. Hearing none, we will uh, move on to the consent agenda, which uh, tonight contains the minutes of the regular meeting of May 16, 2023. Uh, are there any additions or corrections? If not, we'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to accept. 
I'll second. Okay, we have a motion by Council Member Lyles uh, to accept the agenda, a second by Council Member McCarty. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. All right, now we'll get to the good stuff, the fun stuff, and uh, this is the awards and presentations for this evening, and we'll start with uh, Anita McMillan, and Anita, looks like you got a bunch of your friends with you tonight. <laughs> All right. Good, good evening, my uh, uh, girls and members of the town council. I would like to um, let you know we do have members of the Pathfinders for Greenways. I would like to thank them on behalf of the town of, of Vinton for the uh, continued support for the town of Vinton project. And uh, of course, they have been supporters from, for, for the town for the Greenway development. They have donated a total of $60,000 to complete the Great Greenway Phase 2B. And they also donated $15,000 for the Walnut Avenue Phase 1, the bicycle and pedestrian, where the portion with the Norfolk Southern property, that base section to connect to the city of Roanoke, um, Indian Village there, to the uh, Walnut Avenue multi-use um, path there. So having said that, I'd also like to recognize um, Jenna Shai and Bart LaRouche, they are the Vinton Greenway representative. We also have members of the Pathfinders uh, in attendance. So Brian McAhill, the president, is here. And um, having said that, um, Mr. Mayor, if we would like to rec uh, present them with their recognition certificate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thank OK. You. I get to do the fun stuff. And I'll tell you what, let me read this uh, recognition, then we'll ask you folks to come up and uh, maybe get a, get a picture of you. This is a, a certificate of recognition presented to the Pathfinders for Greenways in appreciation of the generous cash donations and support of the development of the town's greenways and multi-use paths. Your continued support of making the town a more walkable community is greatly appreciated. And this is uh, presented on behalf of the town of Benton, obviously on uh, June 6th, today's date. And let me just say before I invite you up, uh, Thank you folks so much. It's uh, what a, well, uh, obviously a great contribution financially, but more than that, uh, the pathways and the greenways are just a great addition to our community. I don't have to tell any of you folks that. You know, you, you've certainly been around uh, these activities for a while. A few of you, I recognize you, and, and uh, I want to personally thank you for the work that you folks have done a lot of years. I don't, I don't know how many. Maybe we better not go back that far, <laughs> right, Janet? <laughs> Liz, but but uh, I do want to thank you, uh, not only for what you've done for the town of Vinton, but actually for the entire valley. You know, the uh, Greenways is such a great addition to our valley. And I don't... You know, I don't know if we should go into all those details about tourism and economic development and all that. We know all that. But they're just playing a whole lot of fun, you know? And uh, when you can have something that even encourages me to ride a bike, then that's <laughs> that's going a long way. <laughs> a little dangerous, but anyhow. And I think I saw I think I saw you guys come in with a big old check. I'm looking forward to that. So if you guys <laughs> if you guys want to meet me down front, we'll give you that. Oh, while we wait, I'd just like to uh, let you all know we're still waiting for Norfolk Southern right of entry. So we hope once we have that in place, the construction is to start. We're hoping by mid-June, but we'll see. Right now, I don't believe it's going to happen. So, but in the, at the same time, the contractor is not in rush because they are completing their project in Roanoke County. So they said they don't mind waiting until July. So we shall see. Yes. <laughs> This is the certificate. I'll present that to you. And uh, Debbie, this will work up here, or you want to? I'm 
speak to you and then you Nada needs to get in. Nada needs to get in. He's taking it. Damn it. You know it. Accepting this Janet and Bud get up there too. Don't give the swing. Yeah, Mayor, Janet and Bud. <laughs> yeah, stand right there. Hey, Perfect. Janet and Bud get up too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Janet and Bud. What's the guy's name? Bring it. Bring it. That's good. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for the recognition. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you uh, again. Thank you for everything that you folks are doing for the entire valley. Hey, I got a feeling you'll know what to do. <laughs> you, you'll know how to spend that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. That is. Council, any comments? No, but I think you summed it up pretty well, Mayor. Um, that's the only advantage to going first. You get to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. All right. With that, we'll move on to our next item, which is recognition of our uh, best of 2023 businesses. Chastity, I understand you're going to do that. Quite a few of those certificates. But what an accomplishment. It's yeah. 19, 20 of them to be exact. Wow. So I think that's so cool. So thank you very much, Mayor and Council members, for having me up here tonight. So um, I wanted to give a little uh, recognition for all the businesses, even if they're um, more of a corporate bank or something like that, they're still here in town. So we wanted to show a little bit of love to everybody. So I'm just going to read them off. And then afterwards, everyone has a certificate like this, and it reads a certificate of achievement presented to who it is from the town of Vinton for being voted by others in the uh, Roanoke Magazine, the best of 2023. 356 winners in 143 categories. So, best mortgages is Alcova Mortgage, best regional local base bank. Platinum is Bank of Botetourt, Gold is Pinnacle. Best Credit Union, Platinum Member One. Best CPA, Gold uh, Neely's Accountant Services. Best Computer, Gold uh, Vinton Computer. Best Spray Tanning Salon, Platinum was Glow Custom Spray Tan. Best Dry Cleaner, Platinum, A Cleaner World. Best Rental Store, Gold is Grand Rental. Best Massage Therapist, uh, Silver is Tristan pa Pagans at Therapeutic Elements. Best Esthetician is Silver, Chelsea Williams at Therapeutic Elements. Best Dental Group is Silver, Cross Lavender Quinns and Park Family Dentistry. Best Dog <coughs> Daycare, Gold is Filled of Dreams. Best Individual Real Estate Agent is Silver, Brad Thomas at Mountain View Real Estate. Best Local Florist is Gold Flowers by Eddie and Silver is Creative Occasions. Most Dependable Car Repair is Silver Woods Towing and Service Center. Female Star of the Star City, Platinum, Chastity Barber, and Silver, Melissa Gona um, with WDBJ7. She lives here in town, so kudos to her. Yeah. Um, best Library Branch, Silver is Vinton um, Public Library. 
Best place to host a corporate event is Silver Vent and War Memorial. And last but not least, best local artist, Silver John Mural. I love the fact that his last name is Mural. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, John. And he is a great representation of a local artist in Vinton, I believe. Um, true, a good connection that we've made there. So thank you all from the town and um, everybody that voted on everybody. They got a, um, a, it was platinum, gold, and silver is how they ranked them. So again, me and Marshall Stanley will walk around and uh, present everybody's uh, certificates at another date. And uh, the mayor and the town manager have signed them. I can, any questions or anything Thanks. like that? Don't walk around. It's going to be a lot of walking. Listen, I got to get my steps in. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations to all of our businesses. We did really well. I think it's so cool because, I mean, if you look a couple years ago, we were entering tons of businesses of, like, just getting our name out there, and yeah. now the proof is in the voters. So good job, to everybody. Yeah. Thank you all. Good job. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, National Safety Month, and I think uh, Vice Mayor has a proclamation. I do. Mr. Mayor, um, I'd like to read a proclamation for this uh, recognition of safety and health workplaces are vital to our well-being and the economic prosperity of the Commonwealth. And each year, more than 80,000 Virginians workers suffer serious job-related injuries or illnesses, and more than 100 Virginia workers die in the work-related incidents. And whereas safety requires the cooperation of all levels of government, business and industry, as well as the general public, and implementing health and safety programs can improve Virginia's business performance and contribute to the local and job force and, and workplace injuries lead to the increased medical and worker compensation costs and diminish the productivity of employees. And accidents and injuries in the workplace are preventable, and employees and employees must be engaged, educated, and aware of the safety practices and policies. And whereas the National Safety Council has designated June as National Safety Month for 2023 and provides resources to promote workplace safety by recognizing hazards, potential slips, trips, and falls combating fatigue and impairment. Now, therefore, I, Bradley Gross, Mayor of the Town of Venton, on behalf of the Town Council and all our citizens, do hereby recognize the month of June 2023 as the National Safety Month in the Town of Venton and call upon all citizens and employees of the town to promote good workplace safety and health practices. All right. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that very much. And Don, I understand you have a few words of wisdom, right? I don't know about wisdom. Let me lower that. But somebody had heels on. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say thank you for um, council support as well as administration and the work of all the employees really to um, bring us to the level where um, everyone has a safe and healthy workspace and um, the ability to do their job to the best. I'm sorry, the they are able to do their job to the best of the ability. Cody jinxed me earlier. Um, and we couldn't do it with any of this without any of the support that we get from you all. So thank you. Well, Donna, thank you very much. We appreciate all the uh, many hats you wear <laughs> and uh, all the work you do toward uh, safety here in the town first time. So thank you. Thank Council, you. any comments, questions? Nope. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Job, Donna. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Uh, next item is citizens' comments and petitions. I don't see anyone here tonight, unless you got something, Chris. <laughs> All right. I'm glad. Uh, nothing listed for uh, briefing, briefings. Uh, so we will move on to uh, our ordinance for this evening. Uh, Andrew, I understand you're going to do that? Oh, well, no? We switched places. Okay. So. <laughs> Andrew said I did it last time. Yeah. I was having so much fun at a VDOT meeting last time. Yeah. Andrew had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
And I will take just a moment of privilege and say uh, the two, the top two local banks are two of the banks that the town of Benton has a large amount of money at. So not oh. only are we happy to, you know, recognize our local institutions, we support them quite well. <laughs> there you go. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> I guess you could say we put our money where our mouth is, right? We do indeed. Yeah. Thanks. So tonight uh, we have the final step in the FY24 budget adoption. So this will be the third time that you have seen some of this information. And um, my goal tonight is to really just highlight some of the changes since the public hearing that was held um, uh, three weeks ago. So um, as always, we begin with the strategic plan. It's where we like to start. It's where we've rooted this budget in. Um, I would take a note to say it's our last year of this five-year strategic plan so we were very conscious in crafting this budget of sort of looking ahead to the future and as we move into the FY25 budget development next year uh, this strategic plan will be of even more importance. These are the highlights. Uh, none of these have changed, but just want to reiterate, it is a balanced budget. So not only is that a goal of council and a goal of staff, uh, but it is something that we should note. It is balanced on its own operational revenues without the use of fund balance in any way. So that is uh, something to note. Um, some of the changes, uh, looking at economic development, we have made those programs more robust moving forward now that we have uh, additional staff capacity, not just from new staff members, but from other staff members working in this area. And so we have filled out that program. Uh, we have moved uh, sort of structurally all the buildings on the War Memorial campus into a single budget just for uh, maximizing some efficiencies there. If you buy toilet paper for one, we might as well buy it for both, those, <laughs> those kinds of items. So uh, just one of the items where we look for um, those efficiencies just to make our operations run smoother. And then of course, uh, the debt service payments. So I always like to note this, that we are debt free from a practical perspective, but yet approximately 10% of our budget is debt service payments of money coming to us from other entities that we are passing through. So when you look at our budget and when you look at all that we are able to accomplish with uh, the numbers on the page and the staff we have, it's actually, we're doing that at a 10% discount on what that is. So we are actually punching even more above our weight when it comes to that because a million dollars off the top approximately is pass through debt. So we are in a very strong position both with our staff and our programming. Speaking of staff, uh, at Council's uh, request, we had originally uh, looked at ways for the COLA and in looking at some of our peers and in trying to be competitive, we were able to do a 7% cost of living adjustment for all employees. Uh, to our knowledge, unless Donna, Pete, or Andrew want to correct me, um, that is among the highest, if not the highest, among some of our peers in the region and across the state. Um, it should be commensurate with with what the state government is doing as well if they can ever actually pass a budget. Um, so we're very proud of our employees and thankful that you all have given us that direction that we were able to work it in. Um, we've also targeted some extra increases for public works and the police department. Um, we've done a lot of work in those two departments over the last two years. Uh, those are highly competitive departments for us and we hope um, that this will continue to keep us competitive. So not only our good atmosphere, our good work environment, and the projects and the people that uh, we get to work with, but um, at the end of the day, you know, helping with some compensation is highly important as well. And then uh, this is the big one that we like to tout. I know uh, Vice Mayor Stovall uh, really likes this point, no change to employee health premiums. So we are giving a 7% raise and extra adjustments and no change to the health premiums this year. Now, next year, knock on all the wood, but this year we we're able to maintain it. Uh, I've mentioned the economic development support and then uh, we'll cover at the end the additional allocation for the capital improvement plan. We're continuing to be quite aggressive in that manner. <coughs> These are the um, high-level highlights. 
Uh, these numbers are unchanged except for in the capital fund. Uh, we received some updated quotes for the signal light project. Uh, we had originally budgeted approximately $300,000 for that project. Uh, that project came in uh, closer to quotes in the neighborhood of $250,000. So the total general fund remains unchanged, but capital fund we reduced by $50,000. So total of all the funds also reduced by $50,000. Now that does not mean we are not utilizing that $50,000, it just means we're keeping it in the general fund and I'll go over some of those projects that we were able to reallocate for. This is an overview of the revenue. When talking about that reallocation, we pulled back uh, the $50,000 uh, into the general fund and allocated it on the expenditure side. We also found some room for reallocation among the local taxes, just to be a little bit more conservative should there be an economic downturn. So that miscellaneous revenue line starting at the bottom, we increased by $150,000 to uh, align with a payment for the Vinton Business Center that we are expected to receive based on reimbursement for real estate taxes and that allowed us to actually decrease our anticipated revenue for the other local taxes namely in paramutual and meals tax so that doesn't mean that paramutual and meals tax we're expecting to underperform we're just trying to add a little bit of buffer should we have any kind of economic downturn in the market so we didn't we weren't quite as comfortable being as aggressive as we were, so we pulled back a little uh, $100,000 in meals and $50,000 in paramutual. So we still think it's conservative, and should all the indicators hit, it'll do quite well, but we wanted an extra buffer should a recession come. And if you can tell me if a recession will come, <laughs> I'll give you $10. <laughs> General fund expenditures, here's that reallocation of that $50,000 that was coming from the capital fund. In the public works line, we're doing additional paving. So we had originally allocated a million dollars, our largest single year allocation in the general fund for paving, and I increased that uh, by about $30,000, and then in community development, we're anticipating doing a comprehensive plan update, or at least initiating a comprehensive plan update at the end of next fiscal year, so I allocated the other $20,000 there. Um, we still expect to be fairly aggressive on paving and would look to use some of those excess revenues um, to, to fill it out. Um, paving has really been a major win for us over the past two years, and we continue to see that. The, the roads have um, really received a lot of love thanks to your direction and thanks to the help of staff. This is the overall allocation. Uh, the big takeaway here is uh, public safety and public works representing approximately two-thirds of our employees and the most public-facing aspects of our operation, 52 percent of the total budget. Um, this is where you also see that line on the debt retirement 10%. So if you remove all that, that's where it really hits home that we're doing all that we do uh, really at 90% of what this number shows. This is the allocation of staff. Between the proposed budget, the public hearing, and tonight, we have um, no change in the recommended number of total positions. That's 69 positions. That's still fairly lean over the years. Even though we have added new people or created new positions, it's not, as you can see, it's not been a net add. It's just been a reallocation of resources, trying to align the town and our efforts to um, the new realities that we face and the services we provide. This is a breakdown of total expenditures. Once again, you will see that personnel, personnel accounts for approximately 50% of our total budget. It's our people that make it happen. Um, that's the huge takeaway here. And once again, thank you for continuing to invest in those people and having us work towards that. 
Lastly, this is the updated capital improvement plan. You'll see the one highlighted number that was the decrease from 300,000 to 250,000 that allowed us to do the other reallocations in the general fund. Um, while this does represent a 50% decrease over our planned CIP in current fiscal year, we still think this is uh, quite aggressive for the town, one of the more aggressive uh, capital improvement plans we've had, uh, combined with not only new money from the Water Authority payment, but also some of those projects from this year that are going to be rolled over later this year. So we are continuing to work at full speed ahead to get these capital projects delivered. And we think we've found our stride and hit a good pace. That's it. If there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I would um, move forward with adoption. Well, uh, thank you very much for that um, overview. I, uh, once again, I'd like to just uh, touch base on what I think are the highlights, and please correct me if I got any of these wrong. First of all, uh, the budget is a year-round process now. You know, I, I know we end up voting on it tonight, but um, and I, I think this council is. Uh, heavily involved, uh, and uh, I, I believe everyone knows uh, knows where our money's going and and where it comes from, and of course our staff does an awesome job in uh, preparing us. So I certainly want to thank you folks for that. Uh, it is a balanced budget with no tax increase. Correct, Biggie. Uh, and I think I heard you say that the uh, revenue estimates uh, could be called conservative. Yes, sir. All right. And um, uh, was something that I'm really happy that we were able to do and we needed to do was the employee compensation for this year was increased by 7%, which is uh, like 50% of our budget. Yes, sir. Isn't that right? Okay. And uh, paving, going to be another big year, $1.4 million. Is that right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Oh, sorry to, but well, I just think these things are so absolutely. significant, you know, so important. And uh, of course, we we are actually get to spend some money in CIP after a lot of years of not doing that. We actually have a CIP. So we had one four years ago. Yeah, that's we didn't right. have a CIP account four that, years ago. That's exactly right. Hey, Mayor, you're right. And another thing I think is very significant is we're doing a lot of things in town. There's a lot going on. Just anyone can tell you that. And we're doing that with a staff of 69 people. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, great staff. Great staff. So, so anyhow, not that you didn't hit all those. I just, to me, those are some of the things that really really jump out at me. And, of course, as, as you always like to mention, we don't really have any debt. Because all the debt is set off by passers, right? Yes, sir. Right. So if I bored all you guys to death now, <laughs> and we used to waller in debt. Oh. Yeah. 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 Kicking the can. We've been fortunate. Been fortunate. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir, very much. That means we have the force and a. Uh, uh, ordinance uh, that would approve the town events and budget for the physical year July 1, 2023 through June 30, 2024. And again, thank you guys in the finance department, uh, Andrew and Cody, all of y'all, uh, everyone over there just does a great job. In fact, our entire staff has worked on this. Council, you have any uh, comments or questions? Excellent. I mean, just a word we can say is excellent. And I mean, if you yeah, you know, I took a little time one day just to kind of look out there and kind of compare throughout the state of localities the size of the town event and look at their budgets and you know we we just look at where we are what we're doing you know I am I am big I am truly big on the, not you know you, you talk about giving a raise but you look at that I mean I've seen times where you've given a five percent raise and your insurance has gone up five percent yeah and you're getting absolutely nothing so that's huge but you know we we, we got to be truly thankful for the people that visit this town uh, because that's as we very well know meals taxes leading the charge and we've got another great restaurant getting ready to open so yeah i mean as a member of the, of the finance committee but with the great team of y'all and of course staff it's just it's an excellent budget for this town it truly is it really is it really is any other comments sir? I'd say um, 
being on council for the last six or seven years, um, uh, I like every single year it gets a little bit better, a bit better, and just I'm already, you know, like you said, it's a year year long process, and we'll start the new one tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, when you go send out the new bus. <laughs> I can't wait to see what next year looks like. Job secured. Yeah. <laughs> well said. Well, then. All right. If there are no uh, further questions or comments, uh, we would entertain a motion for the ordinance as we've described here this evening. So moved. I will second. All right. We have a motion by Vice Mayor Stovall, uh, second by Councilmember Mullins. Please call the roll. Councilmember Lyles? Yes. Councilmember McCarty? Yes. Councilmember Mullins? Yes. Vice Mayor Stovall? Yes. Mayor Gross? Yes. <laughs> of course. Thank you, folks. Yay. 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 Yeah. 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 Let me uh, let me add one one other comment uh, concerning the budget. And I do think we're really blessed and really, uh, you know, think, things have gone well, a lot of good a lot of good work and of course there's been a lot of major changes that are reflected in our budget and uh, you know changes in the water or sewer for instance um, uh, but just uh, kind of hats off to uh, former councils who were not uh, in quite the fortunate position that we we are now, uh, but yet they've they've kept this town in in good shape, and I think uh, because some of the wise uh, decisions and investments that they made has helped us to uh, get get to where we are now. So just uh, kind of a tip of the hat to the, some of the some of the staff and former uh, council members that uh, worked on this stuff for years. We, we're just fortunate uh, uh, to be in the position we are now. And uh, with that, I'll say hello to our town attorney, Jeremy. Always good to see you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Every time I do uh, any of this stuff, I always look to Jeremy's way, make sure I'm getting it right. So, haven't heard anything yet tonight, so I guess we're okay. He did, he did get the text message because he did, responded back. I did get back. the text message. I was uh, <laughs> on my way here without a tie, and I was like, I just can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. So. <laughs> For you, this is some occasion, right? That's right. That's what <laughs> you probably wear that to cut the grass, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Mr. Town Manager, your turn. We wouldn't recognize Jeremy, I don't think. I, I know. That's the truth. We can. We have no idea. Recognize him without a tie. You know, I saw Chip in and buy him a sweatshirt. I bet he did. He did shirt for sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a motion. <laughs> Jamie gets an invent and shirt. <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, so uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, I have a couple updates for you this evening. Um, appreciate uh, uh, Cody's presentation of the budget. Um, well done. And mm -hmm. um, moving on to the next one, as we say, I think we actually started yesterday already. We're having a conversation about FY25 today. <laughs> Can you just take like a minute to right. breathe? And <laughs> watch, 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 watch the lunch and start. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to just make a public announcement that uh, thanks to council's uh, consideration, uh, the town uh, offices will be closed July 3rd and July 4th. Um, so I want to make that publicly known. Um, we will be sending out some information on the revised uh, trash and refuse and recycling collections for that week. Um, Walnut phase two construction. Um, we had, um, you, you've actually got a, a copy of the letter on your, on your, um, your desk there, uh, but the road closures actually were implemented today. We anticipated those um, for the last couple of weeks, but we didn't have a specific date, but we, um, several members of staff uh, actually went out and visited the businesses that are directly along that route, provided them copies of this letter, and then we spent some additional time today uh, once we were notified, or it was around lunchtime that the road was actually closed and detour was put in place. Um, some staff went around um, to actually have some additional conversations with the, with the um, uh, owners of the properties. Um, and we made a number of, um, thanks to Marshall, I think he was already left, a number of uh, social media posts and the code red uh, to note notification. So we anticipate this current lane closure will be in place through the end of June. Um, and the project actually will extend through October. There'll be a couple of uh, uh, lane closures that'll flip back and forth depending on the um, 
uh, area of the project they're working on. That's really just to provide the um, construction workers a safe place to operate by closing that lane of the side that they'll be working on during that time frame. So, uh, relatively speaking, it should be minimal uh, impact. The, the evening commute is probably going to be the most difficult, um, but we'll navigate that best we can, and it'll be a, a great improvement to the corridor once we're complete in a fairly short time frame. Um, the Cleveland water line is near completion, um, and we are working with our paving contractor. We anticipate uh, having the Cleveland Avenue repaved by the end of this month. Um, we are also working on Walnut Avenue Phase 1 to have that repaved and restriped. Um, the Pitzer Road paving project, so we have been talking in, in, in length about uh, what Mar Mountain View Road and the plan to um, rebuild that road through a process called full depth reclamation. And there's a sample project in near proximity, Pitzer Road over in Roanoke County that's just gonna be going through this. Um, we received word that that's still moving forward, but they're a little bit delayed from when they anticipated. So it's probably gonna be pushed out into July as opposed to uh, June this month. So we just wanted to keep you informed of that. And we do anticipate still providing a, a field trip, so to speak, for you to go visit that. And we'll let you know just as soon as we have a confirmation. Great. Um, I want to let you know as well, or publicly let everyone know that the Woodland Place Stream Bank Restoration Project off Niagara Road was complete uh, recently. And um, Anita and, and I and several other members of staff went out and visited that today. It's very impressive. Uh, if yes. you're thinking back to those um, pictures that we had with that, that cavern ravine had, had developed for mm -hmm. stormwater and, and what it looks like today, it's 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 an impressive project. Um, and the fact that they got done as quickly, I think it took them longer to it certainly took us longer to design it and, and, and kind of get to the point of construction than it did for the construction. But what a what a great it's project. actually beautiful. Yeah. It, it really, really is. is. And I really like, like the little sign out there really explaining like that. that's yeah. Yeah. So um you know Marshall has uh, coordinated with amongst staff to do um, the RBTV piece uh, prior to that project getting underway. We're gonna retouch that and go back and, and capture what it looks like post um, uh, post construction. So uh, just Great job, Anita, and all the staff who participated on that. It was, yeah. uh, you know, the town had some match into that, but that was largely funded through grant that that her and her staff applied for. Um, and I think the contractor made the comment the project was so so such a good project, and he enjoyed working on it so much that he wants her to apply for another one. So, <laughs> so stay tuned on that. Um, while we're talking about uh, good work, I want to recognize um, Fayula uh, Gordon in the Planning and Zoning Office. Uh, she recently received um, $18,000 grant uh, for park development at the former municipal swimming pool. So we estimate um, that project to be in excess of a million dollars in total. Um, uh, this is to close the former swimming pool, formally redevelop it as a multi-generational park. And we're in the process of doing the design, we're just in the conceptual planning design uh, phase still at this point. We're getting some cost estimates for, for uh, closure of the pool. And we're working with a number of our uh, community partners, such as Lions Club and Chris, Chris is here. Um, and so we're, we're going to really be putting a lot to, uh, of effort together to really formalize what this plan is going to look like. Uh, but this is a uh, Virginia Outdoors Foundation grant that, that Fayula applied for, and it was uh, $218,000. So that's going to go a long ways in getting us um, moving forward on this this program. So the, the town has budgeted within our CIP a, a significant amount of funding, uh, both in the current year, but also the proposed budget we just um, just discussed. So uh, in total, we have about a half million dollars available right now for park development. Um, so I think over the next year or so, you'll see a significant amount of discussion um, that will start to uh, communicate the the park project, the details of the park project, not only with our community partners but also the citizens, and and um, we look really look forward to getting that that project underway. And and I also want to thank several members of council who participated on the video preparation for that application. I think that um, really made an impact. And and we have two other pending applications for grant funding. So oh, okay. so that we're not done. We're we're hoping to raise some more money. Um, uh, through grants, but then also working, as I said, with folks like the Lions Club and, and some of their commitment to raise some funds for the project. So all in all, we're off to a really good start. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and not to leave out the, the police department. The police department recently received uh, two grants in excess of $160,000. Um, so um, 
I, I won't go through all the details of the of the, the funding, but and I will put this in an updated uh, mayor's report um, soon to be published. Uh, but some of the items that they're planning um, to utilize the funding for um, to uh, replace them with their weapon systems that they use, both their sidearms as well as uh, shotguns. Uh, testing equipment for uh, 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 drug testing, which I think I'm really excited uh, for the staff. It's they don't have to actually touch um, when they're having to identify a substance, and it's it's more of an electronic process. I think that's going to really help our, particularly with the the nasty some of the nasty stuff that's out there now, like fentanyl, uh -huh. and and we we won't have to necessarily interact with that. So I'm excited about that. Um, some bike. Um, Bike patrol equipment, uh, some fitness equipment. So we're investing in um, the fitness of our police officers and providing them a space um, that they can um, off duty and uh, during during some other times have some have some opportunity to, to actually work out with some equipment so to keep their fitness up. So we're looking forward to that um, and a vehicle for the the task force. So all in all, another one hundred and sixty thousand dollars of grant funding that that we don't have to pass on to our taxpayers and we've we've. We've re, you know generated and raised those funds ourselves. So so good job to to the staff. Continue to support and seek out those grants. Um, let's see what else I've got. Um, just want to thank PD and Public Works uh, for uh, their work on the Ironman on Sunday. Um, that that is a, a valley wide uh, initiative. That 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 touches a lot of communities. It is a big um, a big event. It. it you should get uh, the state police and police uh, agencies from four different jurisdictions uh, working on an event. Uh, it takes a lot of effort. It's a lot of communication. Uh, I know it's frustrating for some of our residents and some of our visitors uh, coming through the town. It does have significant impact on the valley and the town. Um, there were over 3,000 athletes and probably three times that in visitors that, that were in our area uh, over the weekend. Um, they do anticipate taking a couple years break because of the maintenance along the parkway. So we'll continue to work with the Ironman group and, and the other jurisdictions to uh, see what makes uh, the best sense for future routes for, for the town and for the valley. But um, I appreciate everyone's understanding and patience and, and particularly the, the staff for the amazing job that they've done. I received a number of um, very positive comments about how they handle and conduct their business. So yeah. appreciate their professionalism. It's not always easy. Um, you know when you have angry individuals but they always always do a wonderful job so appreciate appreciate their work there and um other than that i think that is all so appreciate you the opportunity to update oh i do have two more things i'm sorry <laughs> she kicked me under the table um i just i uh, just want to remind everyone of the uh annex um, the municipal building, the annex, uh, two doors down, uh, we're nearly complete there. Um, and so our next two committee meetings, we're going to relocate and start having those in the new training room. So I think that's going to provide us a really nice space, a lot of uh, technology capabilities there for presentations. So um, the finance committee uh, next week, as well as the community development committee will be held in the training center at the annex. And then the future uh, future agendas will, will reflect that. Yeah. Good. That that is it. The thank you both. And I haven't yet sent you guys. But you guys should have got on the web for CDC. Awesome. awesome. Public Works will will stay at Public Works for now, but the, these other committees will relocate to the training. Okay. Area. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you for a great report. Man, a lot a lot going on. A lot of good news. So thank you. Great. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything listed for appointments or uh, reports from committees, uh, so we'll uh, move on to uh, the council for their uh, comments this evening. Uh, council Member uh, Lyle, I'll start with you this evening. you have anything further? Uh, um, just a few things, I, and Pete touched on a lot of them already, except um, uh, the Chamber Golf Tournament. It was, uh, it was very nice the other day. Had a um, one of the biggest participants, I mean, um, team participants that I think they've seen in quite a few years. And uh, big turnout, uh, a lot of sponsors, and it was a um, top-notch little tournament that they put on. Awesome. Okay, kudos to them. That's good to hear. Thank yeah. you. And then um, to touch base on that stream bank restoration again, yeah. it was. Yeah. I got the email as I was heading to work, so I immediately took a left and went down there and looked at it. And... Uh, and sent everyone a picture, and uh, it was—I mean, it—it it, it looks like a park. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. it's awesome. It it's awesome. Yeah, um, it would be kind of cool if they, if the owners would. There's a bridge over there in the little path for the uh, Craig Center, and that would fit perfect in that. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, it's it's good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's worth uh, it's worth driving over there to see. And just so everyone will know, that's actually just off Niagara Road behind the Woodland. <laughs> yep. Right. It's also awesome. the back parking lot or the upper parking lot. Upper. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Right. Council Member McCarty. I do have a few. I want to uh, reiterate that I am honored to serve on town council that can provide the budget that was just provided for us to help with that. I do value the employees. I've always valued the employees and so glad that we can take care of them. We have a great group. We get a lot done with the staff that we have and if we don't take care of them, somebody else will. So we're hanging on to you guys. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for everybody that does uh, work on the grants. That's not something that happens overnight. So I know that sometimes people think we need to be moving quicker and we aren't getting any information or whatever. But thank you so much on the grants. Uh, big shout out to Big Bellies. My girlfriend and I got to eat there uh, a couple of weeks ago and delicious as always. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Noah. I'm glad you're here tonight, and I appreciate you doing the pledge. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for coming. And I'm not sure who does the flowers around the building, but they are beautiful. Yeah, they, yeah, you're right. And I'm glad you oh, Thank you. Councilmember <laughs> Mullins. Um, well, I got some citizen comments on how nice the banners look going up Washington you Avenue. And also, once again, how nice the new lights are on Washington Avenue. Um, so that's wonderful. We like that. Um, also, I don't want to step on Sabrina's shout outs, but um, oh, no, this no. past weekend, the collaboration between Pokey Joe's and Deb's Lemonade, fantastic. All right. Highly recommend. And also, we went to McAdoo's on Sunday and smooth sailing. Good. Took a little detour and came in the back and no problem. So it was very enjoyable. We had a good weekend. Good for you. Thank you. I do first off, um, as far as one of the things uh, Pete touched on was uh, Fayula. I mean, that's huge. I mean, it really is. And to me, um, Sabrina just talked about it. You know, we've talked about the employees, but that's the behind the scenes work that people do every day this town as employees that makes us what we are today. I mean, it's going to be a huge project. It's going to be a lot of money up there. But to get $218,000 and work on a grant, I don't know if you've ever worked on grants, but they're not the easiest thing in the world. But anyway, to shout out to that, I, do, I will um, uh, go with Keith on the golf chamber tournament. It was a great time. We had fun. It was a great day. And uh, I mean, you know, I don't know if moving it back to Blue Hills and doing it on a Friday work, but it seemed like it did. So uh, it was a beautiful weather. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did attend the Palooza, uh, you know, and naturally it was a good turnout. But I mean, in that that time of the year, it's a lot of go- a lot going on. But that was a good little event. Um, I have to tell you, the next time they do one, if you can attend, I did that bench dedication. Um, I mean, to stand around and listen to them talk about that's three thousand twenty eight pounds of plastic. Wow. So that's bags from Kroger's, and then the wrap you get from like Amazon and all that. And you think about that's over a ton. I mean, that's a lot of stuff, but to look at that bench, it's sitting right over at PFG. I mean, it looks like it is a Trex material bench, but I mean, it was a great dedication. And um, and I do, you know, I know this this guy's not going to probably get this, uh, but I do want to shout out to the bicycle rider. They got hit on Sunday. You know, naturally, I mean, I, can, I can't imagine truckers. I know... My 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 best my best friend's wife has swam in the in the Iron Man and her daughter swam in it for because she messed her leg up. But I can't imagine, I can't imagine training for the Iron Man, doing everything, following everybody, and next thing you know, boom, there's a car pulls out in front of you. Mm-hmm. So you to hurry. The people, yeah, I got get where you got to go, can't. Well, they wanted to hang a left, just supposedly, didn't they? I maybe wanted to hang, wanted to hang a left, going west, but wanted to hang a left, and it's went like through the barrier. Yeah, went through the barriers. But anyway, just a shout out to the bus driver. I know that they said minor injuries, but anyway, I just yeah, I'm thinking to myself, wow, you know, they should have given him a trophy or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, <sir. laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, Mister Mayor. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot going on, and, and uh, Pete, uh, what a great report. Uh, as uh, Council Member Lyles mentioned, you, you covered a lot of the things I wanted to to uh, talk about, so I won't 
dwell on them too long. Uh, do really want to thank our staff for the great work that they do all year. It was obvious in the budget presentation tonight. Uh, once again, we see Fayola uh, getting a, a grant. Of course, the entire planning department works on that stuff, and I, I just think we're so blessed to have those folks on staff. Uh, we received a very special comment about our uh, police department and their uh, professionalism this uh, uh, past uh, weekend with all the extra activity in town that can be a little stressful and uh, uh, from a very reliable source you got a great comment so thank you folks for the job that uh, you're doing um, j just briefly on the uh, Iron Man thing I know it's um, somewhat of a hassle for a few folks on that uh, one day a year but you know um, uh, well, we have a lot of great things going on in Benton, but uh, uh, we won't be part of this valley. I mean, we, we, we don't live in a vacuum, you know. We we all work together as much as we can here in the valley, and it, the Ironman competition is good for this valley. So uh, even though it is a little bit of a hassle, and um, in a perfect world, uh, maybe we'd have every day without a hassle, but uh, I think it's uh, worth it to uh, support our uh, fellow uh, valley governments, you know, as I say, we all depend upon each other. And that uh, kind of goes along with my theme of uh, partnerships. We've seen some great examples of that uh, here in Vinton recently, certainly working with the uh, Lions Club at the bus shelter. And then we mentioned again another partnership with the Lions Club, the park uh, coming up. And uh, you mentioned a great partnership too, Vice Mayor, you know, with the uh, ladies from uh, DAR. Isn't mm -hmm. that right? Dollars of American Revolution. Dollars of American Revolution, say. And uh, so it's uh, it's something that that we uh, we actually depend upon to makes our uh, community a much better place. Uh, just very very briefly, I wanted to re reiterate what uh, uh, Councilmember Lyle said. If you get a chance, to go by look at that stream restoration part. Uh, project, you ought to be proud of where your tax money is going. You know, it's a really an improvement to our town, and uh, it's a great environmental improvement also. And uh, Pete, we kind of glossed over it, but uh, I just want to briefly say thank you uh, for making an effort to communicate with the businesses along Walnut Avenue. Uh, there again, uh, anytime you got projects going on, or we have so many of them, you know, it creates a little bit of a hassle sometimes, particularly for our business community. So I appreciate the extra effort that our uh, count, uh, our staff makes in uh, trying to communicate with the businesses. Uh, one last thing, uh, we don't want to leave here tonight without mentioning D-Day. This is June 6th, and uh, we certainly want to uh, to remember all those uh, great, great, uh, brave people, the soldiers that uh, made the ultimate uh, sacrifice. And uh, we always have to remember that's a family too, you know. And I, I've heard a lot of different figures, you know. Um, there's a cemetery in Europe. I don't know if it's uh, Normandy or where it has over 9,000 American soldiers buried. And I believe I read somewhere that there were 2,000 American soldiers lost on that one day, mm -hmm. D-Day. And uh, what would this world, what would this country be without uh, people uh, like that who are willing to make a sacrifice uh, for this country and for our way of life? So I just want to uh, remember and recognize those folks uh, because we wouldn't be sitting here talking about uh, stream banks if it wasn't for people like that, you know. So uh, thank you to all those folks who have made that uh, sacrifice. Uh, one last thing along more or less along the same lines. Let's not forget June 11th this Sunday is uh, Flag Day and U.S. Army birthday. And there will be a uh, ceremony commemorating that at the um, Benton uh, War Memorial to Veterans Monument actually at 3 o'clock uh, this Sunday afternoon if you get a chance to stop by. It's a great bunch of uh, patriots and veterans will be there. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, anything else will come before uh, council this evening? No. We did a lot in record time, folks. It's going to be daylight out there. Yeah. <laughs>
If there's nothing else, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll so, second. I'll second. A motion and second to adjourn. All in favor signify. All in favor signify by leaving. Thank you, folks. God bless you. God, that's the money. And, um, I know. Thank God, 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 God,